drilling these out. That was kind of a pain, but that's really about We're it. We're not done yet, so I would think that maybe the hardest part might... The fuck was that? It sounds like binding. It sounds like sketchiness. HOA is going to love this. No. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm beat, man. Oh yeah, I was I'm up pretty here. I was up pretty late. Jeep life. All right, guys. So we're back at uh, Nate's garage once again to do another uh, Nate's garage. installation. Yeah, Jeep underscore Recon One on Instagram. Go follow him. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys, uh, this is his Jeep here. Uh, what year, make, model? What do you got going on? So I got a 2016 uh, Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Hard Rock Edition, and uh, this is uh, currently my fifth Jeep now. Uh, so I've gone from YJ, CJ, TJ, JK, and now this JK. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting on uh, the TerraFlex ST3 three-inch lift kit. Comes with the Fox suspension with uh, external reservoirs and uh, control arms. Um, so it's, it's a pretty simple install. It's supposed to be at four hours. Uh, so we're gonna see how it goes. Of course, we're gonna take our time and just uh, mess around and have some fun doing this install. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Yeah, and I'm especially excited because you guys know, you know, Nate, he's my wingman when we go off-roading. He's got a ton of experience. He's been to Moab. He's had four or five Jeeps now. He's been to off-road parks across Texas. So. You know, I've been waiting for him to get a lift now yeah. for months. <laughs> With this new Jeep. Yeah. And I, I, you guys know, you guys follow me on the channel, I've got my Jeep and we, you know, did the axle swap and the 40s bead locks and I've been like dying to go off road now. But again, you know, I've been waiting for, uh, uh, for Nate to finally get his lift. So he's excited, but I'm really freaking excited. So... Yeah, and with the, with the stock Rubicon suspension, I've been rubbing, so I can't even hit the trails you know, with all the with all the experience and Jeeps I've had, it's it's been pretty upsetting that I kind of hit the trails. You know, especially with the polar bear run that happened last month. That's, That's right. Yeah. We uh, when we were driving back from Dallas to go pick up his this his Jeep, we were actually rubbing on dips on the highway. Oh yeah. There yeah. were times where we, I mean, I mean, look at that. You look at the uh, one dip. It, oh, it rubbed. Come on, there was like no clearance. Yeah, because so. I mean, I got the thirty fives. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, you know, so if you're running 35s, stock Rubicon lift, you're gonna rub. You yeah, know, you're gonna, that's just that's just yeah. that's the way it is. Unless you get unless flat you fenders, mall unless you're just gonna go to the mall and back, yeah, you know yeah. that's fine. But even if with flat fenders, maybe you can get away with that. Yeah. But even still, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna get this sweet ass lift. We're gonna see how the three inch goes. I wish I would have I would have been able to get a three and a half, mm -hmm. but the SD3 was my favorite pick because it had the fixed control arms. It, the last time I had the adjustable control arms and that was a nightmare trying to adjust them myself. So the fixed control arms on the ST3 are gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be a lot easier to install. Um, uh, you know, So three inches, we'll, we'll see how the three inches goes. But three inches would be good for Overlander. I did a little bit of research on the Terraflex ST3 uh, kit that, that you purchased and I found a lot of different threads online and videos saying that it was good for fast off-road yeah, yeah. action. Yeah. Which I'm excited about, because you know I'm on coilovers. I like to typically go a little bit faster yeah. off-road as well, so. The Fox are known for, for racing suspension, uh, racing yeah. uh, off-road. So it's uh, really good for washboard roads. You know, if you're, if you're driving on washboard roads, uh, dirt roads. That's but, gonna be a yeah. sweet, sweet kit, sweet lift, so. Um, they say it's a four hour install, but the they way say, yeah. we take breaks and, <laughs> yeah. and the way we talk, yeah. um, maybe, maybe six or seven hours. I don't know, but that's okay. Cause we're going to just yeah. take our time. Yeah. Um, just, and by the way, you know, Terraflex didn't send this to us 
for free. You know, I don't, I'm not getting paid to put this on my yeah. channel or anything like that. There is, you know, that we're not friends with the people at TerraFlex, so they didn't say, hey, here's this product and just try it out. Let us know how you feel about it for, for free parts. And there is absolutely no incentive to give a positive review or a mostly positive review. We're gonna be very critical if we want to because yeah. we came out of pocket for this yeah, yeah. for this lift. And, so yeah. and, and though, though uh, Dennis Wood, if you're watching this, hit us up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, we're doing this out of our own pocket and uh, we really believe in what Terraflex has done with past lift kits. Yeah, so, I, I had a Terraflex yeah. lift for you guys that yeah. follow the channel. Yeah. It was my starter lift kit and it was great. Um, but yeah, again, if there's something weird or funky about this lift kit, yeah. we're gonna let you know. Yeah, we're, and you that's, know, uh, that, uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I had Rough Country before, and uh, you know, I'm done with Rough Country because you know, there's nothing against Rough Country, it's good for beginners and you know, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to spend a little bit more money. Uh, of course, Terraflex is a bit more pricey than Rough Country. But I wanted a better quality. But, but it's a as, more complete kit. Yeah, and as you guys probably have seen past videos, people would talk about my squeaky suspension, and uh, it got. It, I used to think it was a Jeep thing, you know. But when I compared it to other lifts, especially a Terraflex lift, a Terraflex lift never freaking never squeaks yeah. as much as I've seen at least. Yeah. So uh, you know, a Terraflex lift is going to be a higher quality and longer mm -hmm. uh, durability. I'm hoping so. Yeah. So we'll do the install. We'll uh, take it for a spin, we'll go off-road, we'll do another review, and again, if there's something funky with the kit, we'll let y'all know and be as critical as we want to. So, um, stand by guys, we're going to get started, I guess, huh? Yep. Oh, by the way, it's a little bit cold. Are we going to open up the garage door? Or? Yeah, yeah, it should be warming up. Okay, soon, so, cool. Yeah. Cool, it's getting hot up in this if bitch. It, if we do open it. This is the first break at uh, 12 o'clock. We started at 10 o'clock. Oh, this is the first break. We didn't at, technically start yet. It's not 147, but it's 1247. Yeah. But uh, so I guess we actually haven't started yet. We really, really haven't started. We just unboxed everything yeah. and to make sure that uh, everything was there. Yeah. All right. And sweet. Now it's time now for, it's time for uh, lunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Uh, Groom. Yeah. I couldn't beat the crowd of that crap out of him. <laughs> You like ranch on yours? You like ranch? Oh, uh, no, I'm good, man. Thank you. How long did you put yours on for? Uh, six seconds. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's break time. Oh, man, I should have picked up some beers. Oh, that'd be good. No, we don't need that. We're, we would never get this done. Oh, I always work when I'm drinking beer. <laughs> Even at work. No, 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 no. No, when I'm working in the garage, I have to have a beer. But I have strawberry in here, so that will suffice. You like strawberry? Uh, no, I'm good, man. Thank you very much. All right, that was a tough unboxing. Yeah. So I got uh, pepperoni pizza from Domino's. And uh, they didn't pay us to say that. That's just what he... Yeah. <laughs> I swear uh, we're gonna get this lift done, but one day. One uh, day.
All right, so just a little update here. We got the spring in, the, the uh, speed bump is in, the shock is in, and the reservoir is mounted. All right, things are coming along, and uh, then we're gonna, oh, we also got the uh, lower control arms in. Yes, sir. And uh, all right, well, we're gonna continue to knock this up. All right, so we got the uh, we got the front all buttoned up. We just need to uh, tighten a few bolts, and uh, that'll be all for the front. Then we'll start working on the we'll start working on the rear here. But um, yeah, not too bad. I think so far, what would you say the hardest part of the install would have been? I, I I'm think for me it would be the speed speed bump sleeves yeah. and drilling. Yeah. Drilling these out. That was kind of a pain, but that's really about We're it. We're not done yet, so I would think that maybe the hardest part might... What the fuck was that? It sounds like binding. It sounds like sketchiness. Dude, something got something was binding up. Wow. It looks like Can I see? 37's in there if I wanted to. Oh yeah, with three inches? Yeah. yeah. You might have to go uh, flat fenders if you do that, but yeah, flat fenders or maybe like a boost, a budget uh, coil spring boost. Oh, like a puck? Yeah, like a half inch. Yeah, man, that sits so that sits so nice. I'm trying to get the whole Jeep here in the frame, but I can't go back far enough. But man, that that sits pretty damn nice. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna get an AV sticker, put it on the fender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the AV brand uh, with the bowl? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm very familiar with it now. Yeah. So one of the hardest parts of the front was uh, the bump stops. Uh, we had to put the cups in and cut the, the the stock OEM sleeve right here in half. And so what we had to do was measure it uh, perfectly and then get it also smooth. So even though we cut it in half, it wasn't smooth enough. There was like, it went wavy. So we had to smooth that down, that was a pain. And then put the new bump stops in and that was a pain in the ass. Drilling these upside down. Was, yeah. was a was a pain in the ass yeah, right here. Three holes in there. Put the bolts There's in. One there, two, three. That was fine, and that actually holds the speed bump sleeve in there. And um, but that's really that was the hardest part, I think. But other than that, it went relatively smooth. The front um, sits pretty nice, dude. Yeah, the front does sit nice. There's this the rear, nice. it's kind of low. But uh, the springs still need to settle a little bit, but it's looking good. So we're gonna be uh, moving on to the rear now. All right, guys. So we're uh, we we got the lift on. Uh, we still need to get the back tires on, but uh, Nate tomorrow has to go through and uh, tighten down all the bolts. So then we'll get the uh, rear tires on. Then we'll be officially. Well, and then I gotta do the steering, uh, the the linkage of the track bar. So I gotta, I gotta adjust, adjust the track bar. The yeah. track bar. So I'm gonna have to have someone steering the steering wheel while I adjust it. And you guys want to know something crazy? Is when we jacked up the front of the Jeep, um, and uh, we and we put the Jeep on the jack stands, on the rock rails, on the sliders. Well, even at that they were slide, even though they're sliders, uh, by doing that. It caused my front door to not be aligned properly. So when I try to open the front door to get in there real fast and get something, and I try to slam it, it wasn't striking the striker. So uh, that was very interesting to me. I've had plenty of Jeeps and it's never happened to me before. Yeah, but we put it on on the ground and it's not doing it anymore, so it's good. We got the control arms in there, the springs, spring retainer on the bottom, and then these badass Fox uh, shocks with the reservoirs. It came out really nice. Sorry about the uh, the lighting here, but um, but uh, yeah, came out pretty good. 
man. So. It was uh, it was definitely a long, exper- like good experience trying to do this. But this, but this was a complete kit. This was not this was your standard like coil springs and then shock extenders. Oh, definitely this a is, complete kit. Yeah. This, this is a pretty complete stuff. kit. Um, I like it a lot, especially the uh, the speed bumps. The things I like, the thing I like the most about this kit is that it comes with control arms that don't you don't have to go out of your way of adjusting. It's nice that the control arms are already the proper angle size and everything you got to do just and all it is is just bolt on so that was really my favorite part of the lift kit so what we're going to do is uh, maybe tomorrow once you tighten everything up we'll get the uh, tires on yeah and then we'll shoot a, a quick vid yeah of the entire jeep complete and then we'll do a, like a little before and after or something yeah. like that and how it drives and oh yeah we could yeah. do a review on this um on this lift kit of course so we'll the re- front end is already nice. It's lifted. It's lifted pretty nice. Yeah, the front end definitely does look yeah, good. It's definitely nicer than what I thought it would look like. So we'll see once the tires go on. We'll see what the rear looks like. But uh, yeah. but again, for the most part, we got the lift done and uh, everything is in. Just got to tighten everything up, get the tires on, and yep. we'll do some before and after pictures, yep. or maybe even some video. Definitely of the jeeps. Some trail riding. Yeah, we'll do some trail riding, of course. Man, this is pretty exciting. We're low energy right now. We're very we've been, low energy. We've been, we've been busting ass. Freaking tired, man. Yeah. Time for some uh, whiskey. Time for some whiskey and, and some pizza. Yeah. 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 itself ain't stiff at all like it's I was just gonna tight. say it actually rides almost, almost stock. like almost like stock yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, I can't really tell a difference that's exactly what I was thinking like it almost just rides it's a like, stock yeah that's actually kind of nice huh I got something yeah <laughs> uh-oh there it goes have you noticed kind of any difference from stock like what like driving performance wise yeah, just anything that you notice, just the, stock versus what this lift kit feels like. Uh, uh, the the comfortability is pretty much the same. Okay, good. Uh, the the it, in fact, it to be honest, it actually gives me a little bit more comfort. Not yeah. not in like ride comfort, but like mm-hmm. more comfort as in like I feel more confident in that this Jeep can you know really go anywhere. Like okay. when it when it was stock, like you know, it could barely go over curb because I had those thirty fives. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Because you didn't have enough clearance for the fenders. Exactly. And yeah. I was rubbing and stuff. And so yeah. now I'm now it's like, at first before the the lift kit, like, I was like, not really tightened up, but you know what right. I mean, like, like damn, I can't do nothing with this thing. Exactly. Just because of the clearance and, issue. Yeah. And now it's like a whole like load off my shoulders when I drive it. Like I'm like okay this. Now I'm comfortable. Like now, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I noticed. I also noticed now when you came to like the, a pretty hard break, I noticed that it didn't really nosedive a lot. It was no. kind of like it was kind of like factory. Yeah, yeah, which and was really was, nice. Yeah, and you know, actually, you bring that up. I forgot to say that uh, a lot of lift kids they do that. They nosedive when you stop. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you know, when I, I've had a lift kit in my last Jeeps that did that. 
and it wasn't a huge deal to me. Like I noticed it definitely. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't a huge deal to me. And now that I have this lift kit, I'm like, that's actually pretty nice. It's a, it's a little bit more comfortable, and it literally feels like stock. Like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you know people in here that's not used to a lifted vehicle, and right. they're, they're not gonna be freaking out or you know thinking that this Jeep's gonna fall apart. Exactly. Yeah. You know I mean, so uh, so the reason why it doesn't nosedive like other lifts is because Terraflex does the the control arms where they're non adjustable but they're uh, they're lengthened right. to so it's got the, the proper geometry the proper geometry and yeah. that's why it doesn't nose dive yeah, yeah. yeah so far man it, it feels really good I, I like how it I like how it rides definitely I've definitely got to say that I love these control arms 20 times more than those adjustables mm -hmm. like I yeah. can't stand adjustables you really have to dial those in yeah. and then you have to tighten them up and yeah. then you have to also check them yeah. consistently to make all, sure they don't loosen and not just that all of the control arms have to be like matching length almost you Exa know what I mean oh, yeah. like they all have to, like if one yeah. is off compared to the other like yeah. you know your geometry is off so you also got it aligned um, yeah how was that how'd that go was that a, any, any issue there uh, so when I installed the monster track bar that came with the Terraflex yeah. kit, I threw my alignment way off. I ended up um, extending the track bar to be able to reach the, oh, the, hole, gotcha. the mounting hole. And I wasn't supposed to extend it all the way out. Right. So that threw everything Thing. off. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And so... The alignment um, shop corrected that? Yeah, well, I... I uh, yeah, they did. But I had, I had to like mess with it for a while. And all, all because I, I did that, you know. Okay. And, and just to get it to drive to the alignment shop, I had to mess for, mess with it for a while. Okay, got it. And uh, so what was supposed to happen is I didn't have anybody with me at the time, so uh, I, that's why I extended it. But, like, the way Dennis Wood does it is he uh, gets someone in the vehicle, and they wobble the steering wheel back and forth to be able to get the body to move and sway to where you can finally fit that hole into right. the mount right and that's how he did it i just extended the, the track bar and by doing that i threw the body alignment off not the steering alignment but the body alignment and then by doing that i was like trying to align the steering too and so i threw everything off and i threw the steering off i threw the alignment the body alignment off and i was able to just get it by to where i can you know limp it to the <laughs> the, steer, the shop to get it aligned well, once you were at the shop, was uh, how long did it take for them to align it? Dude, was they it... did it so freaking fast. So that I mean that tells you the kit is pretty yeah pretty yeah, dead on. Yeah, right? it was like uh, dude, they they were done like faster than thirty minutes. It had to have been faster than that. Oh wow. Yeah, because they're like, oh, we don't know when it's gonna be done. Your vehicle is gonna be in line, and we don't know when we can get to it. Right. So we'll call you when it's done. Right. And so standard would, alignment shop. Yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. So I, I was like, okay, yeah, I was already prepared for that. I had my friend follow me, and mm -hmm. so I got back in my friend's car. I got my friend's car. We drove off, and the second we got back to work, they called me and said it was done. Wow. Okay. And I was like, are you sure? Nice. <laughs> are you sure you guys yeah. did it? That's crazy. Great. No, that's good, man. Yeah. So alignment was easy. Yeah. Uh, it drives great. Yeah. The steering stabilizer was super easy. Doesn't nose dive. Super easy. Um, so Anybody. as far as streetability and it being a daily driver, oh, it's definitely a daily driver. Okay, uh, good. Three inches is enough. You good. Know. I mean, Terraflex, they've always had a really good reputation. Oh yeah. Dude. About yeah. You, you know correct yeah. geometry, good good quality lifts, yeah. comfort, ride quality, all that. So, yeah, I mean, it, it really isn't a surprise. But is there? Is there anything that you don't like or that you didn't that you really don't like about this lift kit so far? I mean, we haven't taken it off road yet. Well, the only thing is, um, remember that time when you that you did that clip of like that noise popped? And oh yes, yeah. yeah we're not done yet, so I would think that maybe the hardest part. Might... The fuck. Yeah. So that the was spring. That, yeah, that was yeah. just the spring sitting. But since then, it has done that noise like four times really yes and it's sketchy that is sketchy yeah you know at first i was like oh it's just a spring sitting but now it's done it like you know four times so now we're gonna have to diagnose that yeah and we're gonna have to find it, out exactly sketchy if it sounds like a spring is about to like launch out or something so um you already have the spring retainers and everything on dude i didn't put the <laughs> i didn't Not put yet. the rear the spring retainers, retainers on. in no 
front. I don't think it's coming from the rear because it did it with the front. No, it did yeah. it with the front. Yeah, it, it, the sound is still coming from the front. Interesting. So yeah. that's going to be something that we're going to have to uh, figure out for future. Yeah. For fi future videos, but. Yeah, and I didn't. So, anyways, I didn't put the upper retainers on in the rear springs. Okay. I put the bottom retainers on, but not the upper. Mm-hmm. And uh, I haven't installed the the what are those good things called the the straps, the flex, the limiting straps. Right. I still That's need easy. to install those. Yeah. And dude, get this. So, the 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 alignment was super cheap yeah but to do to for them to i was like hey while you're at it how much is it going to cost to install the limiting straps it's just four straps yeah five hundred dollars oh hell no i was like i gotta look at this dude oh hell yeah Jeez, police lander yeah Are you kidding me our shop next door was working on that it's a uh, militarized yeah mrap texas it's freaking crazy that's nuts overall how do you like the lift it's good it, dude yeah, it's good yeah, to go. It's good, dude. Yeah, very good. I think it's good to go and ready to hit some trails. That's gonna be that's gonna be the true test. Well, the next test. Yeah. So streetability, awesome. Awesome. So now we gotta hit the trails and see how it does off road. Yep. Yep. But uh, well, good, man. Dude, why does this kid look like the guy from Stranger Things? Dude, I was just dude, thinking that. Right? He looks like the kid from Stranger Things dude. like perfectly. <laughs> what the that's heck, hilarious. Man. Well, good, man. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad it worked out. We just have to figure out the mystery of the... The pops. The, uh, the pops. The intermittent and random yeah. pops. The good, good thing is it doesn't squeak like, like like my last Jeep did. Yeah, I know. But, you, that was kind of a concern of yours, uh, is the squeaking. Yeah, the rough country. Like, you know, Jeep squeak and everything, but that rough country, dude. Holy moly. That was just... That was bad. It was, yeah, it was death, dude. Like, that, that squeaking was starting to get to me. Mm. It was squeaking just driving on the street. Yeah. Like, I understand squeaking on the trail or whatever, but damn. Yeah, but this uh, TerraFlex, no squeak. I haven't heard one. I, I'm really, I'm kind of, as a passenger, I'm I'm really pleased by the comfort of the ride. It really does feel a lot like stock. Well, cool, man. I'm glad you like it. And then I guess in a follow-up video, we'll hit the trails, go off-roading, and, and, uh, and uh, see how it does there. Definitely.